I'm so excited because Christmas is almost here and leading up to Christmas, we're still trying to eat fairly healthy. So today I'm gonna to share with you three easy and healthy weeknight meals that you can make. One in the crock pot, one is a super simple sheet pan supper, and the third is a salad that resembles my favorite fast food burger, delicious. I'm also gonna share with you some candied pecans. I make these every single year, and since I'm doing some holiday baking today, I figured I'd share those with you. So come on, let's get started. So this is all we need for tonight's dinner. It doesn't get much simpler than this. We've got some olive oil, some broccoli, some thinly sliced chicken, and I have not tried these before, but I wanted to. So McCormick now makes these sheet pan mixes. So this one is the farmer's market chicken and veggies. And the back of it, the only ingredients you need is the seasoning mix, oil, chicken, and any sort of veggies that you want. I happen to have broccoli on hand, so that's what we're gonna make. So I'm gonna begin by chopping up my chicken into fairly small pieces, and then we're gonna add all of this into a bowl, mix it together, and we're gonna pop it in the oven at 400 degrees. Can't get much simpler than that. I don't know if you're like me, but I go to great lengths to clean my chicken. You can see here, I cut out all the gross parts, including the tendons, because when I'm eating it, I want to know that all of that stuff is gone. To my chicken and broccoli, I added the oil and also the seasoning mix and mixed that together. I thought it was a little challenging to mix it and then I realized it's because I did it wrong. You're actually supposed to put the olive oil and the seasoning mix in the bowl first, mix those together, and then add the chicken and broccoli and mix it all together. But it's okay, it turned out just fine. So I put all of that on a sheet pan and then I put this in the oven and cooked it until the chicken was done. So I pulled this out of the oven when it was done. You can see it was smoking a little bit and I was excited to try it because it looked delicious. I will say the seasoning mixture is salty. So if you're sensitive to salt, you might want to cut back on the amount of seasoning you use. And I decided just to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to the top and we had this for dinner and it was really tasty and super easy. Today I'm gonna to make a chicken lo mein, primarily in the crock pot, and this is a lot of ingredients. You could make it simpler by buying some pre-made sauce if you wanted, but I'm gonna make my own. So we're gonna need some veggies, some broccoli, some carrots, some green onions, snow peas. Recipe doesn't call for cabbage, but I have some on hand, so I'm gonna use that. And then I'm gonna use lo mein noodles. You can use spaghetti, whatever you have. Some brown sugar, minced garlic, sesame oil, soy sauce, oyster sauce, sriracha, some ginger, some water chestnuts, and chicken. I have a mixture here of uh, some chicken thighs and also breast. The recipe calls for about two pounds. I probably have just shy of that. So we'll begin by putting the chicken into the crock pot and mixing up our sauce. I added the sauce to the crock pot and then I cooked the chicken and the sauce on high till the chicken was cooked through just a couple of hours. And then Derek was excited because he had bought these new meat cloths, so I let him shred the chicken for me. And then I added the veggies. I gave this a good stir to combine. And then I cooked this until the veggies were tender, about another 30 minutes. And then while that was cooking, I boiled some water to cook my pasta. Once the water began to boil, I dropped in the pasta, only used about half of what the recipe called for. We wanted to have more veggies than pasta. 
I drained that and mixed it into my crock pot with my veggies and this was ready to serve. So we just served this up in some bowls and then we topped it with some green onions. And I will say this was really good. It was super healthy and it was like a Chinese takeout, just healthier. So a Big Mac sounded really good to me this week, but I did not want to eat all the carbs. So tonight we're just gonna make a super simple Big Mac salad. I just have some romaine lettuce. It's beginning to wilt, so I better use it. Um, a pound of ground beef, some Thousand Island dressing, a red onion, a yellow onion, some cheddar cheese, and then I'm gonna use some Texas Roadhouse seasoning for the beef. You can use garlic powder or you can just eliminate it entirely some sesame seeds, and some dill pickles. So I'm just gonna start by chopping my yellow onion and browning my ground beef. Once the ground beef and onions were about done, I added in some seasoning, mixed that in, and then this was ready to serve. So while my meat was cooking, I went ahead and I chopped up some romaine lettuce, the red onion, and the pickle. So now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble one of the salad bowls and I'll show you what it looks like. Just top this with some dressing. And some sesame seeds. And dinner is served. It's a very light dinner and fairly healthy. Excited to dig in. So these are the candy pecans I make every single year around Christmas. I'm gonna begin by preheating my oven to 300 and actually I'm gonna make two batches at the same time. I have a double oven, so I'm gonna preheat both of them to 300. So all I'm gonna need is a little bit of water, some salt, some cinnamon, obviously my pecans, um, and then I forgot to show an egg here, but you also need an egg and then sugar. I doubled the recipe here, but I added all of my pecans into a big old bowl and then in a separate bowl, I whisked together the eggs and a little bit of water and added that to the cons and mix that all together. Then separately, I combined my sugar along with my cinnamon and just a little bit of salt, stirred that to combine, and I added that into the bowl with the nuts, and same thing, just mixed until everything was combined. I lined a cookie sheet with some parchment paper and then I emptied all of my pecans from the bowl onto the cookie sheet and you want them to be in as close to a single layer as possible so they cook evenly. Once that was done, I put these in my 300 degree oven for 45 minutes total and you want to pull these out every 15 minutes and stir them. So I just made a second batch and this one is only a single batch, not a double but this time I used erythritol. So I don't know if you've used erythritol before, but it's a plant-based sugar substitute. So if you're on keto or if you're diabetic, you're just watching your sugar, it's a great substitute. So I use just shy of a cup and we'll see how they turn out. So back to the ones where I used real sugar. So after the 45 minutes, I pulled these out. They were done and you can see the consistency of them. They really harden, but you can still see the sugar on them. They have such a great crunch to them and everybody that we make these for absolutely loves them and they couldn't be any easier. When they were done, I pulled out the pecans for which I used the erythritol on and I will say that they turned out really good. You can see that they're a little bit different. These are def definitely a little bit more liquidy than the sugar ones, but once that erythritol hardened on there, see there you can see the, the difference between the two batches. It was good. It still tasted sweet. I didn't like it quite as well as the ones with the sugar, but 
It was pretty good for being a really low carb substitute. So I was happy with these. I made some more for my husband and he's been snacking on them ever since. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, the recipes will be down in the description box. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.